Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 19th of August 2018. We're going to reflect on John chapter 6, 51 to 58. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the greatest promises that Jesus makes can be found in the Gospel of John, where he declares, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Jesus says he will do whatever we ask for, which is an extraordinary promise among other extraordinary promises that he has made. There is, however, a condition. We have to remain in him and let his word remain in us. How do we let his word remain in us? By reading his word and making it part of the way we live. This involves doing what God tells us to do. As James declares, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. And this, as we have reflected upon several times before, means not picking and choosing what we want to do, but doing all of it and how do we remain in Jesus? Today's Gospel reading provides the answer to this question. Jesus says, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. And how does one do this? Through the Eucharist. I know there are many who say that Jesus is speaking symbolically here, which is funny because they take just about everything else in the Bible literally. But Jesus isn't speaking symbolically. If he was, he would have stopped the mass exodus of his disciples that took place after he said these words by telling them he was speaking symbolically. They couldn't accept his words and many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. Jesus made no attempt to stop them knowing they wouldn't understand. I hope that you understand and if you do, then you will also understand that celebrating Mass is an occasion where we get to remain in Jesus and let him remain in us. And if you're able to do this daily, then please do so. You will experience this union even more powerfully. And it is really transformational because as Jesus also says, if you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. May you bear much fruit and may Jesus do whatever you ask him for. God bless you.